And the family of a woman killed by APD says there's no proof she had a gun. The family of the 19-year-old suspected truck thief shot and killed by an APD officer two years ago is suing the city. They say APD bought their officer's, quote, implausible story about what happened without taking a good look at the evidence. News 13's Lizé Mitri shows you what the family says happened. Dean Jessica, at least two officers at the scene said they saw Mary Hawks pointing a gun. One of them was former officer Jeremy Deere, who fired his gun, killing her. This lawsuit questions that, saying there's no evidence to, to show she was armed. Without lapel video from the camera of former officer Jeremy Deere as he shot and killed suspected truck thief 19-year-old Mary Hawks two years ago, her family is forced to piece together other evidence to find out what happened. The suspect stopped, turned, and pointed a handgun at close range. That's the story Deere told Chief Gordon Eden. Days later, even bringing out an example for the press. It's a handgun very similar to this handgun right here. By doing so, without physical evidence yet, Hawks' family says Eden placed officer loyalty over a search for the truth. Not only that, but he gave that loyalty to an officer who'd already been caught breaking the rules and was eventually fired for lying. While video shows a gun next to Hawks, the family says her DNA wasn't found on it. It's all outlined in a civil lawsuit the family filed today against the city. Other than Deere, only one officer said he saw Hawks point a gun in the spotlight of his patrol car as he drove up to the scene. But the suit says evidence shows otherwise, that he pulled up after the shooting. The lawsuit says the only one who could have seen what happened was this officer, who never saw a gun in her hands. The suit claims that officer failed to activate his lapel camera. The city of Albuquerque says it hasn't even been served with the lawsuit yet. When it is, officials will evaluate these claims. Exactly the point, then. The 46-page complaint also shows about six months after killing Hawks, Deer used curse words to describe her while he was on duty talking with a citizen. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Lizay. The family says if the city does have to pay out because of this lawsuit, it plans to donate a lot of that money to nonprofits and churches that help mentor troubled teens.